Hey, what's going on, y'all? As you see, I'm sitting here drinking my morning coffee. Because I had an incident. And I'm trying to calm down <laughs> before I re-record this. As you heard, I said re-record. So I did this video about, I don't know, about a week ago. And I edited it. I spent a, a good four days editing it because I wanted to have it like top notch because I know people have been really wanting this. And because of a oversight on my part, I didn't actually add the the file, the MP4, to my library on Final Cut. I just drag and drop from my folder. I deleted that movie clip that uh, I used as my main stock image or main video. And when I went to export it, this morning, I was going to look at it one more time before I actually uploaded it. It was gone. Because I did not put the video in my library. So I'm re-recording it. <laughs> yeah. At least this time around, though, I got some, some more things that I wanted to add to it. So, but yeah. That was, uh, that was a lot of work. But y'all are worth it. So. I'm going to do it again. I can keep talking about it or I can get into it. Y'all know what it is. So let's go. All right, y'all, we back at it. Take two. <laughs> All right, how to build the MPC 414 mode. 414 mode, if you not know, just a quick recap on it. It's uh, using your MPC. You can do this with the Live, the One, the X, um, the Force. You can do it with the entire line of hybrid, um, newer, NPCs. Okay. Um, if you don't have a battery, you can just plug it in in the wall and do it. You can do it on standalone. You can do it on laptop. I'm going on, on a computer. I'm going to be doing it on the computer. Um, I just brought it up just so that you can see some of my finger movements down here, but I'm mainly going to be building it in the software. Okay. If, uh, you got the beat software, the free version, you can do it in that. Um, just understand you, you're you're limited in as far as how much stuff you can put on it, okay? But you get the gist, all right? So the best way to do this is if you got your 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 gear in front of you, you've downloaded the template that I've included, and you build it right along with me. Go through it how you want to go through it. Now I can tell you there's a few um, um, limitations, and after talking to some of the people in the uh, Akai staff, uh, I don't know if these limitations are going to be addressed later in future versions or not, but there's some limitations in the MPC line. Uh, the force line, you can do it, no problem. But with the clips, there's just certain limitations, okay? And then there are certain behaviors also. It's nothing that you can't get over because it still surpasses the SP404. Um, but you got something really special already in your studio that you can just grab and go and perform. All right. Now I'm gonna be doing it from a, a, a hip hop standpoint, but this applies to uh, um, house, lo-fi, ambient, all that stuff. All right. So how are we going to break this down? We're going to break this down. We're going to do clips first. Then I'm going to do another part that's going to be released the same day for the effects and cue links. OK, uh, I don't want to overwhelm you because it is kind of long because I want to make sure that you got all the information that you need. So just stay with me. Get all the information, absorb it and then decide if this is something you want to incorporate in your setup. All right. Now, this is something you can also use for when you're DJing, uh, maybe for artists, 
um, stuff like that kind of works like the 360. I don't know if anybody remember those, but um, yeah. So we can keep talking or we can get into it. So let's go. All right. So as you see already, I already got clips already established in here because I had already built something. All right. Um, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Let me go to lane. All right. So let's try. Hey, hey. Turn up the beat a little bit. Can you turn up the beat a little bit? Got the gist. Yeah, got the gist. And this is somebody, I'm not a 401 performer, so that's just the gist of what, what, what we can do. So there's a few things in here that I want to go ahead and cover. And then we're going to break down the entire template. OK, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the setup, how it's set up is. For me, let me get back on clips. So I have an ad lib page. That's where you can add all your vocal drops and my louder and and check this out, stuff like that. OK, and then I have a page for my clips. Right. So for my clips. The way I got mine set up is on this lane right here. This lane right here is all my drum tracks. OK, this lane right here is usually like the intro part of a sample uh, uh, without the bass. With the bass. Everything. OK, everything. That's how I set mine up. You can set yours up however you want, however you want. And then do you see on the screen A through H? That's how many banks you have. So this can go on forever. <laughs> and then once you're done, let's say that, you know, you want to make it where just one set of clips is a song, right? All your variations and all that stuff, which is fine. And at that point, then you just make another bank, add another go to a different bank and build another record if that's what you want to do. Or you can make it where it's just really intensive. All right. And then my effects, which I'm going to cover later in part second part but i want to show you how it's set up um q links one that page right here see the little dot right you go to page two so one is my master two is the program or clips program okay so that's just the actual clips this up that's this that's this right here all right that's that right there three is sub mixes. All right. Because if you see, I got it going out to a sub mix and that gives me where I actually have eight slots that I can fill. All right. With effects. And then the last one is for extra. I was really hoping that I could put the tempo on there on one of these knobs, but unfortunately you can't it's just one of the limitations. So you got to go to project or you got to do it manually, which is no problem. You just click the window. When you're performing, turn it up, turn it down, whatever. Um, it's not a big deal. But that's how it's configured. That's how I got it laid out. When you download the template, that's how it's laid out. If you want to build it a, a different way than that, please feel free to do it. Okay. Um, all right. So part one, clips. Here we go. So the clips, as you see, I got drums, intro part, pretty much no bass with bass, bass effects, everything. All right. And the way that you, these work on the screen, you press clip edit on software, you press the program edit. Okay. And that brings this window up. That brings this little edit window up. And the way that this works is it's just like warping in, in, in audio. Okay. 
So you drop your, your sample in there, you establish a, a, a BPM, a base BPM, and then it matches based on the project BPM. So the sample that is triggered is my Warzone chop or beat that I made, drum track that I made. So that loop I, I played live, so it was, um, wasn't quite on. So 76.01 was the, the exact length. And then I, it was a breakdown in it that I didn't want. I just wanted a steady boom, boom, boom. So I set a start and an end for it of four bar, of one bar, okay? That's how you set the, the bars, okay? Right down there or right down here. So it's one bar and it plays continuously. And the way that I have it set up, I got it on toggle versus one shot. One shot, it will play just the length of that clip. So if it was a one bar and I pre pressed it, it would stop after one. Toggle, it'll stay on until I stop it, okay? You start it and you stop it, okay? So that's the difference between those, all right? Now, all of my reds, all my drums are on group one. So that makes it, actually, I think all everything's on group one. Yeah, no, all of these are on group one. So that when I press another drum track, it automatically shuts it off. All right. Then my samples. On group two. So. So they cut each other off. All right. Now, if you want it where you want to layer it and stuff like that, which you can, you know, you fine tune it. Let's say you got a, a, a part a pad that's, I don't know, a minor and you want to, you got to import a, a ARP that's an E minor. You want to change it. You, you adjust this right here. So it'll match. Um, and you can blend them all in and change the mute groups so that they layer on top of each other versus cutting each other off. There's so much you can do with this. So much you can do with this. All right. Your quantize. This is how you trigger it. Okay. So, I got it on pad trigger on program, excuse me, because I want it where I want them all to behave the same. So if I do like this, they all behave the same. They all come in uh, the same way with a quarter bar lead in. Okay. So that's my timing. Now you can set that where as soon as you press it, it comes on and off. I know sometimes I drink a little bit, my time's a little off. So why take the risk if I don't have to? <laughs> All right. So I got to set the quarter just so it can help me keep my timing. Okay. All right. Verse, you can fade it in, you know, uh, uh, fade it out, you know, which works. That makes it work so you don't get your clips as long as you got your BPM set up uh, correctly on your warping. Okay. All right. So now that's it. Now, oh, one more thing. If you want to, speed up slow down the entire program that's what this is right here not speed up but but adjust because when it's on warp it goes, it's going to keep the same timing but you want to i don't know pitch it up pitch it down that's your program right here all right and down here it'll be programmed down here okay all right so we're done with that so i have built all of this one in the actual first tutorial so guess what we're going to go ahead and build another chain on this one. So we're going to go to bank B, right? And I, I got to add a drum track. But because I did mess up and delete the other one, I'm not going to punish y'all. I'm going to reward y'all. I'm going to show y'all a trick. So we're going to build a drum, a drum loop in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to audio. All right. We're going to go to audio. Let's find another drum loop. Let's find a drum break. I'm going to show you all how I use the editor in here. Drum loops. We're going to go to, we're going to go to a break break. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. So we're going to drag and drop that in there. All right. So we got a break. It starts with a drum fill and then it goes into the break. If 
I remember correctly with this one, it doesn't play, but it just plays for a bar before other stuff come in. So, yep. All right. So we want it to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut what I don't need. I don't need that. I don't need that. We're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to go ahead and put it where it be begins. If I remember correctly, it starts here, I think. Let's see. Yep. All right. So we do our, our editing first before we do anything else. All right. All right. Zoom this in. So we can get that starting in properly. Okay. See that right there. You can do this all on the screen. This is just my workflow. I, I like to work on, you can do it all in here. I just like to work on in here. That's just my thing. All right. So I want to get this to here. So it's a little fast. So that means I need to, I mean, a little slow. So I need to speed it up. Speed it up when you warping is in reverse. Okay. Boom. Let's test and see how that sounds. One. Mm, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds really good. All right, so that little bitty bit right there, let's go ahead and put that on there so we can make it snap to there. Now, we got an even bar. So let's go four. Now we're going to go five. So we're putting on five bars now, right? We got us a good warp. I mean, a good uh, loop, one bar loop. And I want that drum fill still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Command D or Option Drag. Okay. We're going to do that. Command D or Option Drag. Now, with, remember how that drum fill was in the beginning, right? Remember how that drum fill was in the beginning? Let's do this. And it's already warped. Bam. Damn, son. Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> One of my DJ drops. Now let's see what we got. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Uh. Hey. New loop. All right. So now we got that. Let's go ahead and bounce that out. We're going to press the little pencil button. See where it says bounce to sample? We're going to bounce that to sample. Boom. Damn, son. Where'd you come up with that? I want to rename that. So it comes out as bounce to sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it. All right. Mixed up cup. All right. Now we got it. So we can go ahead and mute that or we can delete it. It doesn't matter. Now let's, nah, we don't need it. So we can delete it. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go back to clips. That's the clip we're going to put in here. And it's an even four bars. Now, what I just did, that bounce the sample, that's what you're going to have to do because sometimes a sample loop will come to you uh, or a drum breaker come and it's not exactly four bars or eight bars or whatever you want it to be. And they don't, the, one of the limitations on the NPCs clip is that you can't add what's not there. You can't, even though let's say the clip is four bars, four beats and 743 milliseconds. You can't say, oh, make it even five bars. It'll stop at that, whatever the number was. Okay. So if that's the case and you're not getting that perfect loop, just pull that sample over into the audio track and do bounce the sample and you'll get your even full bars. Okay. Just one of the limitations. You can do it on the force. Um, when I asked about it, that was, they told me flat out. It's just one of the limitations on the NPCs version of clips. But anyway, so we got that in there. It should be at 90 BPMs when we warp it. Let's go clip edit. It's at 90 BPM, 90 BPM. Hey, 
Yeah. So now we got a great four bar loop to go into it. Let's find a sample. Now you can do a sample pack, which is what I'm gonna do because I don't feel like chopping up another sample. So I'm just gonna use a sample pack. Let's go with, you know, you can't go wrong with Kingsway. You can't. Let's see, do we go with an old one or a new one? Eh. Let's go with a semi, semi new, semi old. <laughs> Yeah, then my old. Let's go with walls. So in this situation, it's at uh, 90 BPM. So I kind of want to get it somewhat close. So I'm going to use that one because it's at 94. So we pull that in there. Now with these, it's the exact same. You got to edit it now, okay? Um, so it says the BPM is 94 BPMs. So we're just gonna make that an even 94. Now you got all of this to pick from on what you want your parts to be. Okay. Oh, that one is uh it's so no matter what your loop length is set down here, whatever your project loop length is, is where it's gonna loop at automatically. Okay. So just understand it was set to four bars. So that's why it came back, even though this said 45 or 44, excuse me. All right. So I just put it on 16 just because I want to hear it. But um, I'm pretty sure the first eight is going to work for me. So we're going to go ahead and go. There we go. Let's see what it sounds like. You mix it on the go. I'm pressing the pad. Hey. I like that. Hmm. Hey. Solid. Like that okay so now we got everything set up right we got on the right mute group and everything for that sample so now we're gonna copy that sample and pick another part okay copy boom now we're gonna pick another part on this one we put that on nine add another eight let's see what it sound like hold on let's see what this part sound like bad hey okay let's pot let's pick another part so copy paste okay it's clicking so something is telling me that it wasn't an even 94. That's all right. Let's see what this one sound like. Let's see what this one. Oh, I like that one too. Do we even need to hear what the rest of it sound like? Do we even need to hear it? I don't think we need to hear it. <laughs> hey. Let's play some different drums with it. Hey. That was it. That was it. And I threw in a little extra because I deleted the other video. 
how to build a quick loop for yourself, a big quick drum loop. All right, so let's recap what we went over so far. All right, we broke down the edit window, right? How to make your adjustments, right? How to set your loop, how if you got a constraint, how to actually get your loop made. So I'll tell you one, one tip with the warp. If I'm doing a, a, a set like this, I would keep the warp uh, on. If you're using like modular synths, uh, modular like plucks and, and, and ambient and all that stuff, I would take the warp off, me personally, I would. Um, that makes it where, you know, you can get some really funky grooves going. You know, I feel so uncool when I just did that. <laughs> some really funky grooves. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would keep the warp on most of the time if you're not going to be using like modulars and stuff like that. But if you're going to be using like modular loops, ambient pads and, and, and textures and stuff like that, that's when I would turn the loop off. All right. I mean, not the loop, the warp, but, um, oh, one more thing. So it, it behaves like a 404 where you got to turn it on, turn it off. There is no, you can't, you can't make it behave like it's on and off that's it on and off no matter what you got it set on see it's on and off it's a it's it's a clip launcher all right it's not a not a sample trigger what's well, a trigger but yeah you get what i'm saying um but yeah that was pretty much it we built a a a, a, a clip lane now it's time to move over to the effects all right so i'll see y'all on the next part all right if you got any questions hit me up in the bottom leave your comment subscribe notify because we got a lot of big things coming so make sure you 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 subscribe hit that notification button take time leave a comment if there's something that you i didn't cover let me know i i have no problems putting up a new version none at all but I think you guys should be covered. And don't forget, you got the template down in the description if you want to go ahead and download and play with it, okay? It's not going to be this version. It's going to be blank. So you got to fill it in. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you all in a minute. Let's go.